and welcome to your Go Market update for today, the 15th of September 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Market here. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, overnight we had a choppy session in the US. We had mixed PPI data, but all the major indices managed to close slightly higher. US futures are near neutral in Asian trading. We've got small cautious gains in Asia. But since we've had some release of some data out of the Australian market, we are seeing the ASX up 0.6%. European equity futures are pointing to a slightly higher open also. US dollar index is slightly lower after the big move on the previous day below that 20 year high. It's near neutral in Asia so far. Gold is testing 1700 support and all is poised around that 95 key level as it was yesterday. Copper remains stubborn and is holding on to that 350 support. And the VIX has dropped from mid-July levels, but is trading still over that 25 key level that we've been discussing for the last few weeks. Bitcoin is holding 20,000 support. And on the data front, we've got New Zealand GDP beating expectations and Australian inflation expectations and jobs data came out and both soft. We are seeing moves higher in both the share market and the AUD, interestingly, which is sort of counterintuitive, really. But undoubtedly, we moved up from 02 to 0.6% on the ASX, which suggests that that softer inflation number is positive. US jobs and retail sales are out this evening, and they are going to be watched with interest. A couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. Uh, we're going to have a look at LYC first, uh, Linus Corp in the rare earth space. What interests us about LYC is we did have this big drop a couple of days ago along with the rest of the market. But you can see there we have rejected twice moves below this 835 support. Now, possibly a little early to consider entry here, but could be setting up for a potential reversal. We'd sort of get interested in this if it moved back over that 845 level which is the highs from yesterday and this morning's trading. If we do get a move over that in the last hour, it could suggest some buying pressure is coming back in. On the FX front, it's worth having a look at the Aussie Yen. You can see there really sharp candle to the upside on the back of that data that just came out. Looks as though on this 30 minute chart, we've broken through this resistance at 96.65 and moving towards 97. Now, if we break this, there could potentially be a, a further opportunity, maybe up as high as 97.60 in the medium term. But we would need to see follow through and a break of this level before we get interested in that. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.